So we got a, I got a request to figure out how to automatically update ConnectWise tickets based on information from Sentinel-1. Sentinel-1 does not have um, an integration that we can listen to to see when it updates, but it does have, um, it is set up so that it automatically creates a ticket for any new suspicious threats in Manage. So this is one such ticket. Um, it just comes in with change me in a bunch of different places because it doesn't know what company created or what company it was running under at the time. Um, and I created a workflow that when a managed ticket is created on the security board with Sentinel one dash new wildcard, it just starts listening and it grabs the notes from that ticket, parses the notes from the ticket. I don't know if you guys can see this. Parses the notes from the ticket in this step to grab the threat ID. It then pulls up the threat notes from that specific threat using the uh, Sentinel One API calls for getting the notes because that's not a pre built function yet so I then parse the threat notes for the comments that are in the threat notes and the comments that are in manage ticket I create a set and whatever is not the same will be comments that exist in sentinel one that don't exist in connect wise I then comment on the connect wise ticket all of those additional notes before getting the status of the ticket. If the status is still open, whether it's new or assigned, this just loops around through the fine art of redirection, waits five minutes, and then starts the whole process again. <clears throat> now, as a separate process, I also grab the threat analysis to get the company name parse that company name replacing spaces with percent signs and then try to grab that company from manage using three options so i go uh, try to grab it with name like or if it's a, an identifier of the company i also cut up the name into the various parts and try to just grab the first one or two parts of the name because sometimes a company will be listed in manage as dot incorp or dot ltd so in this instance i just grab whatever minus that inc or ltd and then i update the manage ticket with that company name and I can't really show that because that would. But it would go in here and it would change this to whatever the company name is. And it updates the entire ticket that way. Nice.